In biology and the world you're living in, gene flow is an important concept about the transfer of genes between different individuals in a species. Genes are the little pieces of DNA inside each and every one of you that makes you, you. They are the reason why you look and act differently than your best friends and are similar but not quite the same as your siblings because different individuals have different sets of genes. Animals are the same way. Birds, for instance, may have slightly different colored feathers or be different sizes, but ultimately are the same species of bird. Even when a baby bird hatches, it will have its own unique mix of traits from its mom and dad, making it slightly different individually, but will still be the same species as its parents and the rest of the population. Across many, many generations, birds of the same species will continue to mix with each other and keep the population diverse. But what if something happens to split the bird population in half and keep them from sharing genes? One famous scientist named Charles Darwin studied this question over 100 years ago when he visited a group of islands in South America. A long time ago, one species of finch migrated from the mainland and settled in the islands. Some of the islands had small seeds for food and the other islands had big seeds. Before migrating, the birds had all shared genes and new generations of birds looked very similar to their ancestors. But after migrating, the birds each stayed on their own island and didn't mix with the birds on other islands. So the ocean became a natural barrier for the populations. After many years of separation, Darwin saw that the birds on the islands with big seeds had big beaks, and the birds on the islands with small seeds had small beaks. This study is extremely important in biology because it proves that when individuals are separated by a barrier and physically unable to mix their genes, eventually they will diverge into completely different species. When a population stays together, gene flow can happen and keep the species homogeneous. But when the population is separated, gene flow stops and creates two new species over time. Without gene flow, individuals in a species might eventually become so different that they can no longer reproduce with each other, and the population might even go extinct. And without gene flow, even humans wouldn't be all be the same species. So you can thank this special process of mixing genes and sharing traits as the reason why even though we might have different colored hair or eyes, we're all still part of the human race.